Okay, so I kind of had a big project. I wanted uh, I wanted my dash to be how I wanted it. I wanted to set it up where I could I could have my GPS up here. I could have my phone up here if I wanted to do like Waze or something like that on it. And then I also wanted my my engine monitor system to be there. But I also had a couple of other things I wanted to do. I didn't want to have that uh, down covering up the in the instrument cluster that I have now. Uh, I wanted to be able to remove these things uh, if I needed to, like take my take my tablet that's part of my uh, part of my engine monitoring system, and then when I get where I'm going, just use that as a tablet. And so that I thought about things and tried to figure things out and finally ended up uh, with with the system that I have here with a with a kind of a combination of of magnetic mounts on on uh, suction cup uh, holders and then wiring all that in together. So this is you know for today what I wanted to show you is kind of exactly what I have done to my instrument cluster since I bought the rig. So not to be too bad backlit here, but um there is my GPS system. It's a Garmin RV770, um, and then kind of across the across the instrument cluster here is where I mount my cell phone, and then over here is where I mount my tablet for my in engine monitoring system. Uh, and so I'll kind of splash up a picture of that, what it looks like. Um, also, when I got the rig, the first thing that I did was replace the radio in it. I took the old radio out um, that had that was messed that hooked up with that. Uh, six disc CD changer. Uh, I got this radio at Walmart for, believe it or not, nineteen dollars. Um, it's Bluetooth. It does everything I wanted to do. Plus, it hooks to my phone Bluetooth, so when someone calls me, I can actually push the phone call to the speakers here in the rig, so I don't have to hold the phone up to my head. It's completely hands free. So what I did was to to put in the the monitoring system and all that stuff. I'll let you see the back here where the mounts are um, to the dash. And of course, that's a lot of wires that need to go places. So what I'm going to show you now is exactly how I wired all this stuff up. Okay, so you can see the dash. I've kind of moved the dash uh, cover off. And if you look right here, you can see this little doodad right there. That right there. And that is a 4-port USB charger and a 3 12-volt cigarette lighter adapter charger. So what I did was I wired that in to a 12 volt, uh, 12 volt uh, wire here behind the dash that that turns on when the engine turns on or when the when the key is turned on. So it doesn't stay on all the time; it just comes on when I turn the engine on. And then that right there has um, this is the uh, this is the power cable to my phone. Uh, this is the power cable to an uh, to a uh, extension what I did was I just kind of leave these kind of hanging out right here uh, for my wife to plug up stuff or this is a plug for her um, for her phone right here that just stays there plus then I also have a uh, a power uh, a, a power cord that goes to my Garmin uh, 770 and a power cord that goes here to the Cambio tablet uh, so when when all this is hooked up and I hook my tablet up, um, everything gets power um, right when I turn the key on, and that way battery stuff isn't dying. Everything is charging, um, and so that's that's what I did. Honestly, it was, it was a really easy install. Uh, just put that right there, uh, hooked it up to a 12 volt circuit, um, and it works pretty well. Uh, installing the radio was was pretty simple. All I had to do was take the old one out and then match up. Um, match up the speakers. Uh, one, one of the things that I have done, and you'll see that in another video, is disconnect the rear speakers back in the bedroom and connect that to an amp that then connects to my TV back there. So if you're watching TV back there, you can hear the TV through the speakers that are above the bed, not the TV speakers themselves, and just wired the speakers from this unit uh, just to these front speakers. I kind of have some plans maybe to add some additional speakers uh, for front, a uh, front left, and a front right over here and then make these speakers the the speakers that are right there and then I'll pan over here and the speakers that are right there and make those rear speakers but for the time being 
uh, all I've got is just these two speakers as speakers for the radio, and that just works out fine because we end up talking a lot while we drive too. But anyway, that's what I wanted to share you, what I share with you today. That's that's what um, that's what we've done, uh, so that when I drive, I have all of the instrumentation that I want, um, and it's not completely blocking any of my sight lines for driving down the road. So, so that's what we've done so far to the Holy Roller. Um, it makes it a whole lot easier for me to drive because I can see. Uh, certainly instrumentation from the engine um, that's a whole lot more detailed than than what uh, my instrument cluster shows. Uh, I can also see uh, what my cruise is set at. I can I can see what my miles per gallon are uh, on that. So uh, you can see my other video on installing the Blue Fire uh, engine monitoring system. Of course, there's many others out there, but that's the one that I ha that I use. Um, and so when I'm driving, it's just really simple. Everything's right there. Again, I've got my GPS, my RV GPS, my Garmin over there on the left. Uh, I've got my phone uh, in, kind of almost in front of me off to the right a little bit where I can turn on Waze and I can see what traffic is doing and that kind of stuff. Maybe uh, maybe reroute if I need to. Uh, and then my Cambio there, plus all of the original instrumentation. Um, as, far as, as far as one final thing, and that is the cigarette lighters themselves. We, we do have two. Um, and in those, we just got standard, uh, you, you plug in into the cigarette lighter and it gives you two, uh, two USB power jacks that we can use for maybe charging the kids' tablets or something while we drive. But anyway, uh, I hope that this has helped you. Just want to, want to remind you guys, you know, if you've got a camper, uh, if you've got a trailer, if you've got a fifth wheel, if you've got a motorhome, get out there, camp, spend time with your family, get away from all the technology, but make sure you're at church on Sunday.